All right, my bad, my bad. Let me get a mic check one time. Let me get a mic check one time. All right. Had to get my coffee. Take care of a couple of things in the background. Mic check. Get my myself. coffee. All right, I'm good. Let me know if I'm good on y'all in. Salute to the two people who hit the thumbs up. You know the hate is real. You figured it out. Um, kind of salty. I'm going to have to end up buying the um, editing software all over again. It's like 400 and something bucks, 300 and something, 400 bucks um, that I'll be using. Uh, so I got to do it like this because, you know, about my computer situation. You know, all my shit is on there, so. It is what it is. What's good, Musty One? Mike Good, that's what's up. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Beautiful pups, man. They are uh, two weeks and two days old today. All of them coming in at a little bit over two pounds at this point. A little bit over two pounds. All right. There's nine total. Uh... There's still eight up. They're eight up for grabs, so we're gonna get to marketing. And uh, I'm waiting on a couple people for lock-ins, but no hoes. First come, first serve. You figure them. Which one weigh the most? Um, one of the um, one of the tr uh, black trimural males. <coughs> Not weigh them yesterday, but I weighed them the day before. Was the last time I weighed them. The um, and I'm gonna weigh them again today. Uh, trying to weigh them every day, sometimes every other day. Um, hold on, let me let me do this. All right, there we go. Um, let me see which one. Black trimural gray paw, white on neck. Uh, black trimural. Well, actually, last time I weighed him was on the eighth, and actually two were coming in at two point seven eight pounds. Actually, no, the chocolate try. Actually, no, the black. Uh, yeah, black trimural. See, they keep changing. Because at first it was one of the um, black tri Merle males. Now, as of Thursday, no, at, yeah, that was the eighth, whatever the eighth was, two days ago. I'm going to wear them again today. The black tri Merle female. Black tri Merle female came in. I don't know if I wrote that right or not. So I'm going to hold that back. But we got the black trimural half face, 2.78. Um, the dark chocolate merle female, which is uh, 2.78. The chocolate tri came in at 2.79. I think the black trimural female came in at 2.80. I'm going to have to um, make sure I wrote that. I think I wrote that right. I'll reweigh them again today. I asked because the chocolate try looked thick. Oh, that chocolate try. The chocolate try. Chocolate try came in at 2.79. So, Dark Try Merle, he's. It's between him and the Black Try female. And then the other one's coming right, but most of them coming right behind him. You know what I mean? So, yeah, he's in the top three thickest, most definitely. I think top two. Yeah. All right. This is the uh this is the dark chocolate the one I labeled the dark chocolate trimural female. That's what this one is. <sighs> um I want to say this is the black trimural female if I'm not mistaken. She's the only black tri Merle female, so I just be looking at her. It ain't like I got to stick to her markings. 
Or is that half face? Nah, that's the black trimural female, I believe. All right. Let's move on to the next photo. That, again, is the chocolate trimural female. Both chocolate trimurals are females. Um, this is a chocolate tri uh, boy. And it's almost like um, he got the uh, uh, pretty much like the lilac color paws with the um, with ticks on the paws or the merle spots you can call it either or uh, beautiful look how thick them legs is <laughs> again that's the one I labeled dark tri chocolate uh, dark uh, chocolate tri merle female. believe that's the male as well that's the dark uh, uh, chocolate try again the pictures is all out of order so done a light little photo shoot yesterday that's the light chocolate the one I consider the light chocolate try Merle female that's the keeper at this point she's the keeper at this point Or did I just mix them? I think I mixed them up because that's the dark chocolate tri female right there. That's the dark chocolate tri female. Yeah, that's the dark chocolate tri female. The others was the the one I consider the light tri female correction. It doesn't matter. She's not on the market. And the, the dark tri chocolate tri is bigger than the light chocolate tri. But I like I like them both. I I, I don't know. And my wife likes the lighter chocolate one too, so you know, I, I don't know. I don't know which way I'm gonna go with it. Cause this dark chocolate trifema, she thick. She is nasty thick. But you know, pups change, you know, they change. They just opened their eyes too a couple of days ago, about two days. Now that's them together. This is right now at this point, this is my keeper. And this is because um, right now for people who's locking in, I'm allowing them to lock in a pick, not necessarily a pup. Well, it's going to be a pup, but you're going to have to lock in a pick. For instance, there's uh, I have three females and six males. So if somebody wanted to lock in a female, first pick is gone. First pick is whatever I choose. Right now, I'm going with this lighter one right here. Right. So we got uh, the light chocolate trimural female we got the dark chocolate trimural female and we also have a black trimural female so if somebody was to lock in second pick female it's only it only be second and third pick female available so uh once i fully decide my wife and i which one we're which female we're going to keep then the person who locks in second pick female gets the set the second the next pick of the female and females, which would be between one of these chocolate tries and one of the uh, trimurals and one of the black trimurals. And then the person who picks th gets third pick, uh, gets the female that's left and all three of them are fucking beautiful. Well, excuse my language, but all of them are beautiful. You understand? So what up? True. Them plus five. Appreciate it. California. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. The dawn. beautiful man these are the two females this was actually there go that chocolate there go that chocolate try male right there he's a beast he is a beast if i was see i don't know if i was the keepable which i'm definitely not i'm not keeping a boy if i keep a boy it would be a uh, possibly co-owner with a family member or a friend locally i would never co-own with anybody at this point, I would never go on with anybody that is not in my city. Um, if if the numbers were right and I co on with somebody that is in another state, 
uh, I would have to figure that out, but I, I wouldn't want to, I truly wouldn't want to co own with nobody out of state at this point. Um, uh, I don't know, but at this point, nah, um, it's just too much involved. A bunch of bull crap goes on, and I just don't be having time for it. Uh, sir, let me remove you. You know you're not welcome over here, sir. All right. Appreciate it. Have a nice morning, though, Mr. 770. Have a nice morning. Good day to you, sir. T G I S. Thank God it's Saturday. Uh, let's continue, everybody. That's a chocolate. Uh tribe mail and all my photos and stuff is out of order i know we done the photo shoot yesterday well not the best photo shoot but you know we were just playing around i'm like i gotta get some updates on these puppies at two weeks and one day which was yesterday today they're two weeks and two days old they was worm dewormed at two weeks we're going to deworm them at three weeks we're going to deworm them accordingly um and they come with ABKC uh, registration paperwork, possibly UKC, uh, dual registration as well. Uh, they'll be up to date on their shots. They'll be uh, checked out by the vet. All this before leaving. You understand? Um, I'm not going for ear croppings because... Um, here where I am in the Midwest, uh, I'm actually located in Indianapolis, Indiana. A lot of y'all know, but this ain't for you people who know me, uh, through other channels. This is for people who come across this channel and, um, um, uh, you know, want to know. So I'm not doing the ear croppers at this point because the vet that I prefer and that I use here locally will not crop their ears until 12 weeks. So if somebody wants the ears cropped because they can't get them done in their location, then we have to work out something else. As far as the number, it'll be uh, quite a bit more, you know, a little bit more because I'm going to have to care for the pup until it's 12, until it's, uh, until after the ears are cropped. My vet will not crop ears before 12 weeks. Uh, some vets crop them at six weeks, eight weeks. I think it's a little bit too early. I've never had my dog's ears cropped before 12, 13 weeks. No vet that I use will do it. And they have their own reasons. Um, and I'm okay with that. All right. So, again, this is Chocolate Trimural. What's in the presence? Can it? Those are fake. Um fake Christmas foam things. There's nothing in there. <laughs> it's just a block of foam that's been decorated. That's all it is, brother. I believe you're a brother. Some of y'all don't have avatars. So if, I, if you're a female and I say brother, I apologize. If you're a brother and I say female, brother means male. F female means female. Brother don't mean black or white to me. Brother means a fellow man. You feel what I'm saying? So salute to everybody in the building. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, be sure to share. And, um, you know, we're going to get it in, man. And, and really, we got some nasty things about to go on around here. We got some nasty things about to go on around here with these dogs. We got quite a, you know, quite a few. I got some nice stuff. Yeah. No, oh, Infamous, okay. I don't know who you are, Infamous, but there go my famous saying, Ooh-wee, yeah, there you go. There you go. It's all good, though. Man, that chocolate mail is nice, man. Give me y'all thoughts on the pups that y'all seen. That's the chocolate tribe uh, mail. He is nice. They open their eyes, man. They, they something else, man. Here is my two. Um, both of these are, excuse me, both of these are males. Both of these are black tri males. All right. Both of these are black tri males. Nice thing. Now, mind you, we took these uh, pictures in these videos yesterday. Last night, about 11 o'clock, my homie came through. 
and uh between my homie my wife and myself we all took a whole bunch of pictures a little bit of video and things like that you gotta figure i'm dealing with nine pups i'm dealing with nine pups it was nine pups she had litter of nine all of them are doing fantastic you know um just what it is um how many times do they need to be worn before you sell uh they'll probably need to be worried about let's see before i before they are able to go to their new home which would be eight weeks i'll be worming them like five times i'll be deworming them five times before they're eight weeks old people can start picking up the pups after they already didn't lock them in at five at uh not at eight weeks excuse me at eight weeks i'll be then weren't dewormed in five times uh two weeks three weeks four weeks six weeks and eight weeks five five times if i have them at 12 weeks then they'll go i may go 10 and 12 or i may just go straight to 12. see this ensures that the parasites of the worms which every pup is ever born no matter what breed it is they are born with worms all right period there's no way around it they get it from the mom the mom is also uh has worms going through the pregnancy i just dewormed her as well dewormed her and them same time <clears throat> and I warned them at uh, two weeks, which I just did two days ago, three weeks, four weeks, six weeks, and eight weeks. And then if I have them beyond that, it'll be uh, maybe 10 and 12 weeks. All right. Um, at six weeks, some people can do, you can do five, depending on the, um, you can do at five weeks at five weeks you can actually start giving them their first vaccination it depends on the vaccination you use i normally wait till six weeks to give them their first vaccination all right and pretty much is basically about every what every two weeks after that something like that it well it all depends on the vaccinations you use all right Let's see what y'all saying. The chocolate male is the uh, bestest. Must be one. Go to two point two. Y'all keep trying to get me to keep that chocolate. That chocolate dry male. <laughs> I need you to two point two, bro. <laughs> I'm keeping a female, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, you out of time out. Oh man, if I say two point two, y'all for the newcomers, you just type two point two in there, and that's your time now. <laughs> it's just it's simply a joke. Um, yeah, I'm keeping a female, brother. I have to. Um, even though the money is really in the mail, if you get some stupid nice, but I'm a female type of guy. Um, of course, you know. It's nice to make a lot of money or the most money you can. Um, but for me, it's a beauty to see a female go through her pregnancy and have these pups and to whelp the litters. I mean, it's a daunting task, but I love it. It's a daunting task, but I love it. I prefer females. And I have three males on deck anyway. I'm only really probably going to use two of them in my camp the other male my blue my blue male i'm going to probably use him to breed with the sister a sister two generations down of a dog i lost in hopes of getting a clone of the sister that would be the reason for me doing that breeding i don't care what nobody else thinks that would be the reason for me doing that breeding um so and to carry on their dna because it goes way back to some dolls that i produce 10 15 years ago more than 10 15, about at least about 15 years ago 12 15 years ago which was my baby girl uh peaches all right so 
let me see what y'all saying in the chat before I keep going through these pups, these pictures. Um, how many times do they need uh, to be wormed before you sell them? Uh, before before they go to their new home. If people are picking them up at eight weeks old, which is the earliest I'm going to release these pups to the new homes, um, they will have been dewormed five times, which I spoke of. And if I have them at 12 weeks, let's see, eight, if I still have a, uh, whatever ones I still have at 12 weeks, depending on the contract or the agreement, um, they would have been wormed about seven times. So they definitely will not have worms. Dogs with worms, uh, the worms tend to suck up or take up the nutrition or suck up the nutrition that should be going to the pups. And also, it's mandatory that you deworm these pups when you have new litters, and it's mandatory that you start at two weeks um, and do it on a consistent basis according to wh whichever um, deworming medicine you're using because if you don't, you actually can stunt the growth of these pups um, basically by allowing them to continually have parasites in them. So that's one thing that I'm on. I, I'm on that something tough. You feel me? Um, let's see, let's see. What's the candy presence? Candy, not it. Fake presence, brother. Fake presence. That's gonna be a big dog. I hope. ATL shouter. What your name is? <laughs> Musty one says the chocolate tri mail is the best. It's, are you? I put you in two point two. You got good. Yeah. Okay. You already done your two point two. Cause I don't know why so many people want me to keep that that cho excuse me chocolate tribe Merle. Even one of my other guys that run a kennel, man, you should keep that tribe Merle, that chocolate tribe Merle or Mail. I mean, not Merle, chocolate tribe Mail. I'm like, nope. I'll give somebody else an opportunity. See, I'm not I'm not one that's trying to. Even though, right, it make more sense for me to keep the best of the best. I feel they are the best of the best. If you ask me, all of them will bring something to the table, period, for anybody's camp. What I'm doing is going with my vision. I have a I have a Merle male, a tri-Merle male, and I'm keeping a tri-Merle female off of him. They will never be bred together. None of the siblings will ever be crossed. I don't, I don't, I don't do that. And I don't believe there's no reason to do it. I'm going to tell you why. I bred, let me see something, y'all. Give me a second. I wasn't even going to talk on this live, on this, uh, live stream. I was just going to play my clips. But since I'm doing it, let's go to my file. Let me see what I can find. And some things happen with my other computers and hard drives and files and stuff. And it's... Uh, some of y'all know what it is. It's a complicated situation. I don't, I don't even want to speak of it too much. Um, so a lot of my files of the pictures and video of the mom and pop, <clears throat> I don't have at this point. Um, but I have both parents on that. Um, but let me see. Where is these photos at? Say, Chew Bentley. What you in there doing, boy? Um, of course, here's the mom. She's a lot like Tri. Uh, well, that's just when she was having a pup, so can't really see her. Beautiful girl. Um that's her. What are you in there doing, Bentley? What the dog in there doing? This is the father. That's the pops. All right. Now, the reason why I brought him up and the reason why I said that, um, I don't see why people breed Merle on Merle. There are some people doing it, and I think it's, uh, I think it's immoral. Um, but that's just my opinion, right? But if if 
if your dogs have strong genes, I don't see why you would even attempt to breed Merle on Merle in order to get more Merles. I'll tell you why. I bred this tri Merle, right? I bred this tri Merle with my lot like tri. With my lot like tri. This is the bitch, which is the legal term for a female dog. I bred him to her. I was very strategic in this breeding based on my vision. I'm going to say this. Out of this litter, Lilac Tri with a Tri Merle, he threw, well, he was able to, let me see, let me, let me calculate this right. We got two black tries and we got one chocolate try and every other pup out of nine is Merle. He threw six Merles. His genes is nasty. He threw six Merle. There were six Merles out the litter. She has no Merle in her DNA at all. None. Okay. And we came out with a litter of nine. All of them are still alive. All of them was healthy as crazy. Came out thick off the muscle. And there were six Merles out of that litter. A litter of nine. Only three were nine Merles. All of them are tries. Every single one of them. Entire litter of tries. We got two black tries, one chocolate try, and six tri Merles. His DNA is very strong. His genes is very strong. He not only threw six Merles out of the litter of nine, he threw six boys. So not only see he's hey look it's already this is his first breeding this is her first litter. His genes overpowered, six and six, six boys, six merles. Hmm. I don't know what else to say. You feel me? I don't. I don't believe there's no reason. I, I don't believe there's any reason to merle on merle. Excuse me. So even though I'm keeping a, a Merle female, I will never be running her back into her dad. I will never be running her back into any one of her uh, litter mates. Um, and any other dog that I run into her cannot have any Merle in their DNA. I don't care how nice the dog is. All right. And he's a repeat of his dad. He's a repeat of his dad. Here's his dad right here. There goes his dad right there. There's his dad. There's his mom. I mean, not his mom. There's Bentley's dad. Yeah, that's Bentley's dad and that's Bentley's mom. All right. His actual registration name is King of Wands. His nickname is Bentley. All right. So... Anyway, I don't mean to bore y'all with that. Uh, yeah, we got we got we got some nice things around here, man. We got some nice stuff around here, man. You know what I mean, the hate is real and it is what it is. Hit that like button. There's twelve people in the building. Come on, y'all, man. You hating on the pups? You can hate me, but why the pups though? And you can hate me all you want, but why hate the pups, man? Anyway, morning, Kent. Good morning, Kent. Say beautiful dogs. Appreciate that. Appreciate the good look. Appreciate the good look. True, I don't know much about dogs. What's the purpose of ear cropping? It's for aesthetic reasons. What's good, Depp? Salute, brother. Salute, brother. Salute, 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 John. John says, um, and true, I don't know much about dogs. What is the purpose of ear cropping? The purpose of ear cropping is solely... Um, Ear cropping does nothing but change the aesthetic look of the pup. I'm for sure that everybody that breeds dogs or or purchase a dog and get their ears ears cropped would 100% agree with me that ear cropping is solely just for aesthetic purposes. That's it. Well, I'll say this. There's multiple reasons. One would be the the primary reason is the aesthetic look, and then there are uh, uh, 
another factor or two in regards to ear infections. I may get into that in a whole separate um, live stream or video or presentation. I don't want to drop all the jewels in one video or one live stream. You feel what I'm saying? But the primary purpose that that most breeders or uh, pet homeowners want their ear dogs ears cropped is for aesthetic reasons. The look. That's the primary reason, okay? Um, and in some cases, um, you can then move down to um, the, 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 the fact that um, there's some slight variations of, um, I don't want to say too much because I want to put that in a whole other stream or video or presentation or whatever, uh, as far as ear... Um, ear infections, etc. But I'm going to leave that for a whole nother presentation. All right. Just lean with me, rock with me. Um, Deb says, more than true. I just found your page on my suggested list. That's what's up. I've been telling y'all for a long time, man. Subscribe to the We All We Got Candles channel. W-A-W-G stands for We All We Got. Reason why I chose that name is I thought it fit well for this bully community because um good breeders who breed healthy dogs um of course breeding with breeding comes financial revenue i think that a lot of people get sidetracked i'm gonna say for the lack of a better word off the top of my dome i think that a lot of people get sidetracked with the money and then turn around and have uh show very little responsibility in regards to the dog the pups the offsprings um etc a lot of people are just in it for the money i'm in it for the love of the breed i'm in it for the love of dogs i've had rockwallers i've had chows uh i had american pit bull terriers i had am staffs and i'm solely on strictly and not necessarily. I'm on. I'm still on some Amstaffs and uh, 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 American Pitbull Terriers. Um, they're just co-owned with other people here locally, family and close friends that I grew up with. Um, but far as my wife and I and what we personally are more so engaging in is the American Bully. You know, we're going to go pockets, mid to high pockets. What I mean by as far as the uh, height uh, class, we're going mid to high pockets. We don't too much like very, very short. We don't we don't like real short dogs. It's just what it is. No disrespect to nobody else um, and what they breed. I'm going uh, we're going mid to high pocket. And, and low to high standard. Right now, I'm not even interested. It's some beautiful XLs out here. I'm just not into XLs right now. I like a lot that I see. I actually love a lot of them that I see. But right now, I'm staying in the, the range of uh, mid-pocket to high standard. You know what I'm saying? For those who are breeders, you know exactly what I'm saying. I use my own terminology pretty much. Let me continue. Those pups are looking excellent and healthy. I appreciate that. Uh, let me go ahead and flip another picture. Um, somebody says, sir, you don't have an audience. I'm talking to trolls. Hey. I'll see you later, sir. See, I'm not in a rush to do anything. So this channel is being built off strictly nothing but dogs. Nobody's talking about trolls over here, sir. So you can go join the trolls. All right? Thank you very much. And matter of fact, let me say this. The trolls are going to help me build my audience. All right? So which I did with my other channels, you're not going to be able to do over here, sir. All right? So thank you very much, troll. Thank you for your view. Thank you for your minutes of watch time. I appreciate it. Have a nice Saturday.
Matter of fact, have a wonderful Saturday. I hope your day is glorious. And I hope you prosper today. All right? Thank you very much. Of course, I really don't have an audience over here because I only got 300 and something subscribers. This is a completely new channel. Okay. You got to crawl for you walk. Anyway, moving right along. All right. Is deworming a liquid medication? Um, deworming comes in liquid form or pill form. I don't use pill form. I use liquid form because it's, um, it's easier. F uh, 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 uh. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, I don't even know what the word I'm looking for is. But it's easier for, I'd say, um, it's easier to assure. Let me say it like, let me say it like this. It's easy to ensure that the pups are properly um, dewormed with the liquid. Some people put the pill in their mouth or try to put it in their food, and a lot of times they don't want to eat it. Uh, both of them are good. I just prefer liquid form. But they, but but um, deworming medication comes in peel form and liquid form. How many puppies do I have left? I have nine pups total. It's eight up for grabs at this very moment. There's eight up for grabs. I've only been letting some people locally really know I know. Me just dropping little YouTube videos here and there. I'm not expecting to really sell a dog to anybody on the internet. It's too much beef drama and hate going on. Now, if it so happens that somebody through the internet and my YouTube videos and my Instagram and everything else purchases a pub, hey, great. If not, I'm, I'm, I never have had a problem placing my dogs. Not in a big rush either. The older they get, the better they look, the more the number goes up. Get in where you fit in. Get it, get, get it, getting why the getting is good. You understand what I'm saying? No, all right. Say, how many pups do you have left? I know they're selling fast. Those are beautiful pups. Nope. I got my keeper, which is one of the females. And um, I had a I had a buddy of mine to actually purchase one. But he's actually renting right now. Um, in a few months, he's, I think they're looking for a place to uh, buy right now. Because his landlord came over after he put his deposit down. And uh, the, his the current dolls that he got had tore up some things in the house, and the landlord got mad and told him, "You cannot have no more dogs. Don't bring no more dolls to this house." So, you know, being that I knew the guy, you know, um, I refunded his money, pretty much, and he turned around and spent seven hundred back with me and gave me three hundred for the. Um, for the inconvenience. Now, I do not refund money. If you can't get a dog at this point, you know, you, you you put your deposit down. I'll transfer it up to two litters if something come up. I'm not refunding no, no deposits. Because when I put up a deposit, it takes it off the market. You feel what I'm saying? I may have passed up on others. So if you're not ready to purchase a dog, please don't put a deposit down. If you're not in a stable home condition situation, please do not put a deposit down on one of my pups the deposit is non-refundable the deposit comes off the total purchase of the price but the deposit is non-refundable but it's transferable up to two letters i'm not going to be sitting up here for life holding your deposit and you just never end up getting a dog and then two three four five six years later you want your deposit back you can if you're not ready and perfectly stable to purchase a pup and complete the transaction do not try to do business with me because there is no refunds okay you either ready for a dog or you're not i know things come up so i will i will allow you a one-time transfer to another litter 
and it will be a three year. It will be a. It will be a three year. It will be. No, I'm not even going to do three year. It will be a two year limit. I'm not going to be sitting up here waiting five years for you to pick a pup. It may sound harsh, but I'm a businessman and I don't have time for it. You understand if you're not ready and perfectly able and willing to take on a pup, don't put a deposit down. I'm going to just keep it like that. I'm not trying to scam nobody. I'm not trying to keep nobody money. But when you put a deposit down, I'm letting you know off the top it's non-refundable. You keep up with your end of the bargain, I'm going to keep up with mine. Some things do come up, it's non-refundable. Right? The only reason I refunded that person's money was because it's like family. And that person gave me $300 for the inconvenience and still spent the $700 with me in merchandise. All right? So I still got the band. He just couldn't get the dog because his landlord happened to pop up and they didn't tore up doors and all type of stuff. And he was just like, no, it's a no go. No more dogs. So he don't have to get rid of his dogs. He just can't bring any more into that home. So they're looking for another property. And he's a young guy. You know, I mean, he's on like 22. And uh, he's actually a childhood friend that I grew up with child. Um, so, you know, he's like family to me. So, you know, and his backing out was like within 72 hours and I understood and everything else. And again, he's like family and plus he's like, okay, I tell you what, it's like this, this is the, this is my situation. Bam. Um, you can keep 300. Can I get seven back? And then just keep the seven and give me one of them gaming PCs you got. That's exactly what he did. I still made the thousand dollars. He said, bro, I'm sorry, man. You know what I mean? He was like, you know, I'm doing bad business out here. I said, brother, you, you ain't doing bad business, man. Things happen. You see what I'm saying? He's a youngster and he, he's trying to do everything the right way. Like I told him, you always good with me. You know what I mean? He came through, spent $200 in dog food. Right before that, because he he got bullies too. He got them them the micros, but you know. Um. Anyway, he spends money with me anyway, so you know, it is what it is. I don't mean to bore y'all with that. I'm just letting you know if you're not ready to purchase a dog, don't contact me. If you not if you don't have all your eyes dotted and your T's crossed, do not put a deposit down on one of my pups. It's non refundable. I'm going to stick to my end. You're going to stick to yours. I'm not returning anything. All right. And I'm just keeping it one thought while with you. Well, that's going to hurt your business. No, it's not. I'm being honest from the gate. So if you're not comfortable with that, there's a hundred trillion breeders out here that's breeding American bullies that you can purchase a dog from. I'm not going to lower my standards, nor put my business in jeopardy for you. Or to prove something to somebody else. I'm just going to keep it one thou while with you. You keep up with your end of the agreement, I keep up with mine. You put a deposit down on a pup, I remove that pup from the market. Five, ten other people may be in line for that pup. All the pup already spoke for. And then you want to come back and want your deposit back because you got to back out. And now I try to contact, I, I gave you a deposit back. Then I try to contact the people who actually was ready to put their deposit down 100%. And, oh, man, I already found one, man. I already found one. No, 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 no. That is not how business is done. Do not contact me about my dolls unless you ready to put a deposit down. I'm not going to be sitting up here on the phone with y'all uh, back and forth in DMs for two, three, four weeks, 20, 30 questions and emails and messages every day, all day. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give y'all as much information up front. I don't mind, you know, chopping it up a little bit. But if you ain't ready to buy, just don't contact me. Time is money. Money is time. I don't have time for it. That's just the truth. Yeah, I can call it what you want to call it. I'm going to stay true to the game and 100% honest with the people that I do business with. And if you ain't okay with it, there's a hundred trillion other people out here that got American bullies for sale and you can do business with them. It's not going to hurt me one bit. Not at all. 
Okay. All right. I I, I digress though, because a lot of people on BS, man. It's just is. I don't have time for it, y'all. I literally don't. All right. I feed my dogs gunpowder so they can devour. All right, sir. We don't do animal fighting over here. We don't promote animal fighting, and we don't give dogs. I'm gonna have to remove you, sir. I, hey, to each his own. To each his own. All right, but you're not welcome over here with that. That is immoral. That is inhumane. And it's clear that you are a dog fighter. We do not promote dog fighting, nor will you be fighting any of my dogs that you purchase from me. Okay. Have a nice day, sir. All right. We don't do that. All right. I know where you're going with that one. All right. No BS true, but I'm in Georgia. Hold on. No BS true. I'm in, uh, I'm in Georgia. I know I get, I know I get, make it up there. Huh? Hold up, brother. I'm hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm trying to read your comment, but um, you say no BS true, but you're in Georgia. You say, I know, I, I think you meant, you know, you can, you can get make, I don't, I don't know. You know, you can get, make it up there. No time soon to, you know, you can't, I don't know. You, can you rewrite that for me, brother? Can you rewrite that for me? Because I cannot make out what you're trying to say. I'm going to try to go through it, but I, I, I can't, I literally can't make out what you're saying. You say no BS true. But I'm in Georgia, and I know I get make it up there no time soon to grab a pup. My wife really wants a bully, and I'm tempted to put myself out there and purchase one. <coughs> Logistics is your issue. I'm still trying to figure out what you're actually trying to say to me. First of all, the pups is only two weeks and two, two days old. They still got six weeks before they can go home, go to their new home. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, if, if you can, um, and actually, I think you somebody else. I think I know who you are, but I'm going to leave that alone for right now. Uh, let me block this person. All right, I'm going to tell you, all the trolls on YouTube, social media is off the chain. I'm not even going to read that person's message because I can tell by the username what's going on. Uh, okay, let me get you out of here, too. I got to start proofreading these messages in here. I mean, I know I can't make it up there anytime soon. Well, the pups ain't ready anyway. They got six weeks minimum left before they even ready to go home to their new home. All right. So if you ain't ready to put a deposit down, bro, and lock in your pick after we work out details as to the time frame when you can pick them up, and we need to do that before you put the deposit down. Because if I have to take care of the pups for a significant time after eight weeks, you're going to be paying for their food. You're going to pay me for care. And then I have to make sure they keep going to the vet and getting their vaccinations and all that other stuff. So if I got to keep the dog, the pup uh, significantly outside of eight weeks, it's going to cost you quite a bit more from my actual price. Because then I have to continue to put money into dog to the dog to make sure the pup is perfectly healthy, up to date on all their shots and everything else when you're supposed to already pick up the pup. So, you know, if, if you want to contact me, if you're serious and you're ready to put a deposit down if the details work, fine. I'm not going to be back and forth on the phone or uh, through uh, 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 any type of chat site or anything like that with people for two, three weeks. I I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Yeah, I mean, you see what I got. I, I don't need all the bull stuff. And I'm not saying that's what you want. I'm just I'm just making sure that people know. Okay, I'm going to have to sell my pus for $200. Okay. 
Have a nice day, sir. True if about dog, why can't I why can't you fight them? Um if you bought a dog for me, sir, which I would never sell you a dog. But if you was to buy a dog for me and I found out you was fighting them, I'm snitching on you. Point blank period. Point blank period. I would never sell you a dog, Mr. Hunter. I would never sell you a dog. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day, sir. You can buy dolls from other people that don't care about where they pups go and the life of their pups when they leave their home. I'm not that person. Well, you only want XYZ for the dolls. I give you 15,000, but I want to fight them. No, nope. take your 15,000 somewhere else. Take your 15,000 somewhere else. All right. Okay, why don't I like fighting? Anybody asking me questions about fighting dogs, you will be removed from my platform. All right? And have a nice day. Okay? I don't need you people for viewership. Okay? Uh, uh, uh. I don't, I don't know who you are, sir. This is my kennel channel. I don't know why y'all coming over here trolling. So you can go. I don't even know who you are, but you can leave. Thank you. Let's keep going through some of these photos and a few videos. And uh, we're going to get ready to get up out of here. You know what I mean? So thank you for the views. Thank you for the watch minutes. Uh, for those of you trolling, you're going to help me get to my goal. I appreciate it. I really do. Okay? I really appreciate it. Ooh, as you can see, we got beauty over here. We got straight beauty over here. Yeah. We got beauty over here, man. And again, there were what? Five? Let me see. Five, two. Hold up. Two chocolate trimurals. Uh. Four black trimurals, six. Yeah. So it's four black trimurals. If you ain't paying attention, you don't know which is which. I'm trying to find half face. I call him half face. <laughs> I call him half face. Man, look at that beauty, man. Uh, Ken, uh, Ken says, is it true that Merle's have recessive genes? It's true that all dogs have recessive genes. Does that answer your question, Ken? You asked me, is it true that Merle's have recessive genes? I'm telling you, it's true that all dogs have recessive genes. Okay. You hear me? You ask me, is it true that Merle's have recessive genes? My answer is all dogs have recessive genes. All right. Say those them dogs are worth 5K to 6K. My dogs are 5,500 to 6,500, depending on your pick. Depending on your pick. Okay, it's 55 to 65 for any one of these pups that's available. Okay, deposit is $1,000. Deposit is $1,000, which leaves you with a balance. That $1,000 is put towards the total price of the dog. It's taken off the total price of the dog. So you don't give me $1,000 plus the price of the dog. You give me 1000 and that comes off. That's the lock in the pick. Take the pup off the market. And then you owe a balance, depending on which one you pick. If you pick a $5,500, one of the $5,500, one, one of the ones I'm selling for $5,500, then 
then you would owe 4500 you pick one for uh 65 of uh, um six bands then you owe five bands you pick one for 65 then you owe 55 and you got to pay tax on it so i'm trying to figure out if i'm going to um give a price and do the tax accordingly so you pay the price or am i going to do the price and then it's including tax um which would mean then you would get to put for a little bit less than the market price but plus tax will will put you at the market price of what i'm selling them for you understand what i'm saying well it's good people wanted the stairs you ain't take one of my dolls and take under the stairs with you now. What's up with you, famo? You good? <laughs> I salute to you, man. I salute to you. Glad you was able to find me. All right. Deposit is 1K. I do not take PayPal, so do not ask. I do not take PayPal. I will not take PayPal. All right? Too many scams being run through PayPal. I do not associate with PayPal. Dealing with you people. Okay. Now, hey, true, but I don't know you from Adam. Watch this. Yeah, but I don't know you from Adam, man. You could be scamming me. Okay. If that's the case, since your money, right? If you can, if you can afford, if you can afford a fifty-five hundred, six, seven thousand dollar dog, you can afford to take a two, three hundred dollar flight. I'll pick you up at the airport. You can come to my home, but when I pick you up at the airport. I need to see your ID and get a copy. I'm playing no games with none of you people. I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm playing no games with none of you people. Okay? Either you a businessman or you on some bull crap. And I'm not the one to be playing with, with my money, nor my livelihood, nor my home, or anything. All right? Let's make that clear. I don't have no problem selling my dogs, so I'm not even worried about it. All right, so if you ain't on the up and up, don't even try to do business with me. I don't want your money. A little bad, bad somebody say somebody trolling me. You can go, because so are you. Now. All right. Man, today's Saturday, man. Get out and enjoy the weather. Get out and chill with the family. Get out and do something other than sit online and troll people and hate. On the on the ability to make things shake, I, I don't get it. But let's continue because that's what y'all want. Y'all want, I want attention. Y'all want attention. Okay, Kent, I told you, thousand bucks deposit for lock in. You should call him Two Face, like the Batman villain. Well, he got to. He, I call him Half Face because half his face is one color. I don't think I've got to him yet. Let me see if I got a good picture of it. I'm going to be doing some more photo shoots today. All this weekend, I'm going to be doing more photo shoots. Because it was really late when we did. This is about 11-something last night. Um, Now, nah, I wasn't even playing that. Yeah, that's the program I got to buy again. Matter of fact, I'll just let that play, man, for right now. Hell, hell with it. I'll just let that play right now while I'm trying to read this chat. Um, okay, let's get this person out of here. All right. Ken says, thanks for the info, Mr. Freeman. All right. It was good. People on the stairs. I'll take a dog to the light. Okay. Let's Let's block you. Oh wow, taxes. What's wrong with taxes? Don't uh Kent, don't when you go buy gas, you pay taxes. Don't when you go to the store and buy food, you pay taxes. I'm a business. I gotta pay taxes, so you gotta pay taxes. Okay. We not backdoor breeding, we not you you feel what I'm saying? So if y'all ain't cool with the taxes, like I said, we'll work out the taxes, but taxes are to be paid. I got to pay taxes on the money that I make. You got to pay taxes on the money you spend. That's how the world works. That is how the cookie crumbles. 
I have a legitimate business. All right. So if y'all not okay with that, it's plenty of people who sell you a dog and don't add taxes in. But we can work that out. But you're going to pay taxes if you purchase a dog from me. Even if I sell you the dog for you pick a $5,500 pup, then I'm going to have to lower the price of the pup to calculate the tax rate. You're going to pay taxes. There's no question about that. All right. It's just that simple. And if y'all not okay with that, hey, it is what it is. You feel what I'm saying? There's a lot of breeders that don't care. I do. This is a business. This is a business. This is not a fly by night. All right. Some people might say that there's a lot of uh that that's a lot of trouble to purchase an expensive dog. Okay. When you go to the dealership to buy that brand new 2022, 2023 vehicle, don't they take you through way more than what I'm saying you're going to go through to purchase a pup for me? Huh? No, okay. All right. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, it's, it's fine, uh, Clark. You know, uh, 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 I mean, Kent. It's fine, Kent. Uh, you're starting to come across to me as a troll. So be careful. Okay. I'm definitely thinking about breeding dogs. Okay. Hey, think about it. Think about it. How much is shipping to Las Vegas? I have no clue. I'm going to tell you the truth. I absolutely have no clue. Um, If somebody needs shipping, that's something that they would have to check into or I would check into. You know, so at this moment, I have no idea. Depending on where you at, it's all different. It's different prices depending on the location. I think it would be better for someone who purchased a dog to fly up, set the flight up for them, round trip, set the flight up for them and the pup going back home. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, but some people can't do that. I understand they got work, they got business, they got other things. So they would have to have a shipper. Um, you just have to get with me and then we'll have to, you know, I'll have to check with some shippers. Um, and and we go from there. All right. So I'm going to let this play a little bit. Chocolate tribe mail. That's all of them together, scrunched up, doing a little thing, pooping here and there. Crazy dogs. Crazy puppies. That's what they do. Black tribes. Black tribes. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. They got structure, everybody. They gonna be a hundred thousand pounds. They got full tails. All oh, that was a joke. Pictures speak louder than words. Video speaks louder than pictures speak. Um, you know, I don't have to say they got full tails. They structurally sound. They did. I, I don't do that, man. I mean, it is what it is. Especially not at those two week and two day old pups. You feel me? Um, let's see. Those dogs will catch a fine. You mean fetch? Those dogs, when you say catch, I mean we use fetch. Those dogs will fetch a fine price in your town. Hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. They catch a fine price, uh, 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 you know, where I'm at. <laughs> you know, I say fetch, you say cats. Let me let me block you, sir. What's the yellow stuff on the tab? Let me block you, sir. Take your money elsewhere, bro, bro. All right. 
I don't want to do business with people who ask dumb questions. I'm going to keep it real with you. I refuse to do business with people who ask dumb questions. All right. Have a nice day, sir. TGIS. Thank God it's Saturday. I mean, you trolls can try, man, but you're not going to get anywhere over here. I don't have time for it, man. It's a whole different ball game over here that y'all can't even afford to be in. So, I don't know. I didn't say. I said I think. So, okay, if you're going to harp on that, ma'am, or as you, ma'am, you can leave. If you're going to harp on that, there's no reason to be here. I don't know you. All people are doing on this platform is troll. I didn't say you are 100% a troll. I said I think you are. See, I'd rather think that you're a troll and then it turns out you not be than to think you're not a troll and it turns out to be you are. If you're not, you're not, sis. I think you're a female. I can't tell by the, by the photo. It's kind of small. No disrespect. Um, but if you're not, you're not. It's, it's nothing to harp on. Did I block you? Did I curse you out? Did I say anything bad to you? I said, it seems like you're trolling. And if you're not, don't make a big fuss about it. No, no, sir, I'm not trolling. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm just asking questions, which is a good thing, right? Okay, fine. But if you're going to make a big deal about my opinion based on what I be going through on this platform, then there's no reason for you to be here. It's just that simple. If I actually 100% thought you were a troll, I would have already blocked you. All right? It's just as simple. If you're not, apologies. But I didn't call you when I said what I think you could be or might be. Doesn't mean that you are, right? All right. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. You've been respectful. You haven't disrespected me or anything like that. I never even insinuated or said you did. What I did say is that, you know, based on the questions you asked me, it seems like you're trolling. If you're not, it's no big deal. Would you not agree, Kent? Would you not agree? It's just my opinion. And if my opinion is flawed, you shouldn't get mad about it. If my opinion is flawed, then I'm wrong and apologies in advance. Even though I shouldn't be apologizing because I didn't do anything to you. I just said what I'm thinking. And if I think that you are a troll and you don't be, I'm better off than me thinking you're not a troll and you actually end up being one. That's to anybody. But if you know, if it, you know, if you got a problem with it, hey, apologies. And just the way my mind works, what I've been going through on this platform since 2008. Well, 2000 and actually 12, I came to this platform in 2008. But if it hurts your feelings or whatever, based on my opinion, I apologize. All right. Let's keep moving. It is not that deep. Let's get this person out of here. Thank you for your watch time, sir. Go ahead and skip this and walk through some of the photos so I can get up out of here. Um, you know, I ain't in no big rush to get this channel banging, but the crap. Come on, y'all. Y'all got to cut it out. Y'all got to cut it out. Ah, it ain't easy being me. Thank you for that apology, Mr. Free, man. Seems authentic. Hey, you call it what you want to. Hey, I just... I don't understand why you would think anybody has to apologize for their opinion, but okay. It's good. No one should have to apologize for their opinion. 
Now, if I stated it was a fact and it turned out not to be, that's when I really owed an apology. But I know what's going on here, so I just apologize. Let's move forward. Conversation dead. Make sense? All right. Morning, Blue Jazz. Morning, Blue Jazz. How you doing, sis? Hey, Blue Jazz, do me a favor. Uh, hit me with a buck in cash app, if you will, if you don't mind. Hit me with $1 in cash app. Uh, you got my cash app. Hit me with $1 in my cash app. Let me verify that's you. Because you are a supporter of my platforms. I need to blue you up. You know what I mean? <laughs> And I need everything that's troll, troll name, everything else out of here. Okay. Everything. I don't have time for it. Now, I could use them for watch hours, but I don't have to use them for watch hours for this channel. They're going to use themselves for watch hours for me on this channel. Because even when I block them in their troll accounts, they're going to create another account and come back. Yeah, see how the cookie crumbles? It's easy. I block everything that's on some BS. They ain't going to do nothing but come right back anyway. And we're just going to ignore them over here. This is not the platform for that, nor will any of that be allowed over here. Okay? All right. <sighs> Lord, 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 Lord. You can't make this up, bro. You can't make this up, but it's okay with me. I, I'm I'm used to it. I'm actually used to it at this point. And they trying to stop my bag that has nothing to do with the internet. <laughs> Lexus, um, eight pups available. Is two females and six males available? It was a litter of nine. I got a keeper, female, and there's eight available. There is. Let's see. There's three try, try Merle carriers, and there's five try Merles. There's two black tries. There's there's two black tries available, both of them males. There's one chocolate try male uh and then there's five no and then there's one chocolate tribe merle female available then there's one black tribe merle female available and then there's four black tribe males available okay let me see if that's it Let's see if that says. I'm going to stop paying my damn cell phone bills all on the same day. Now I'm on bills due on the same damn day. I'm going to let them some of them damn things ride. Oh, Don sent me an app? Hold on. Was this shit today? Or was this yet? Not What's today? Day? Not, no, that was yesterday. Uh, salute to Blue Blue Jazz for yesterday. Salute to what's it at the ten? Salute to Don from yesterday. I think I did. Um, okay, and that's Blue Jazz. So let me let me go verify something. Let me go verify see if it coincides with Blue Jazz support to my channel. And we're going to uh, rent sis up, man. She's been true to the game from the rooter to the tutor. <sighs> View profile. profile. History. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. View all. Boy, Blue Jazz been supporting like a motherfucker. Blue, God damn, Blue Jazz. Go to 2.2, .2, Blue Jazz. 
Carry your ass to 2.2, Blue Jazz. Carry your ass to 2.2 right now. <laughs> That's a joke, everybody. Nah, she's a real, she's a real one. She's a real one. And it's not because she, you know, sent a little support here and there. She's true to the game. I believe that if she don't like something I say, she just ignore it and move on. I, I don't know. But I know she's true to the game, right? Anyway, salute the Blue Jazz. All right? Uh, so I should, I took care of you. There you go. 2.2. There you go. There you go. Because I need a few of my real ones over here. I only got a few anyway. Anything got to do with anything from over there, I need it blocked. I don't care who it is. Get them out of here. This is not the channel for that. <laughs> this ain't going to happen. It's not going to happen over here. You feel me? All right. But yeah, Lex is, um, it is eight pups available to female, six males. All tries, three straight tries, uh, five uh, try murals. What's good, Blue Tar? Salute to you, my brother. My bro, True, at WAWG. I got my coffee. Let's get it. I got mine, too. WAWG stands for We All We Got Candles. Top-notch quality, good breeders who are working towards better in the breed. Some people may agree or disagree. That's on you. Don't really matter. What's good for you may not be good for me. What's good for you may not be good for everybody else. What's good for me may not be good for you. What's good for me may not be good for everybody else. What's best for you may not be best for me or anybody else. And what's best for me may, may not be best for you or anybody else. But at the end of the day, this is all about what's best for the pups. You feel me? If I was you trolls, what I would do if I was you, I would not click on this channel. Because y'all about to help me get jiggy. That's what's about to happen. So it's best you stay over there. Okay? It's best y'all stay over there. How many people agree press one? Because I'm ignoring every single bit of trolling over here. And I'm going to remove it. I'm not going there with y'all over here. You feel me? Catch me over there if I come over there. But over here, there's a whole new sheriff in town. It's a, no, no, I ain't getting jiggy with them over here. Uh-uh, that ain't what this platform is for. That ain't what this page is for. That is not what this channel is for. I'm ignoring everything, and I need everything to be X'd out of here that's on some BS. It's just that simple. I don't need their watch hours. I don't need their subscription. But they're going to give it to me anyway. But I'm not going to deal with the crap that they keep posting in my chat. And I'm not going to hold you people who respect my platform liable for their mistakes. I e shut my chat down. I'm not doing it. Now, don't do that over here, man. If one of y'all, if y'all start going, anybody over here that start going back and forth with them trolls, I'm not going to give you no warning. You will be removed with them and not allowed back over here. This is not the platform for that, nor will it be. Okay. It's my business channel, and that's what this is. Now, we can have some fun, some jokes. Y'all can troll me elsewhere on my other channels. I got plenty of channels, but you will not do it here. You will not do it here. Okay? I'm not going to allow you to do it. And nor will the solid people that I mod up allow you to do it over here. Hey, good morning, Amical. I mean, oh my, here we go. Go to 2.2, Miss Jones. I need you to 2.2 because I can't pronounce the first part of your name. And I keep saying, I'm just going to call you Miss Jones. <laughs> I need you to go. Well, why I need to go to 2.2 when you can't pronounce mine? I don't know. You just got to work in my favor. <laughs> How you doing this morning, Miss Jones? Salute to you. But I still need you to go to 2.2. Put that 2.2 in the chat. You feel me? Oh, there you go. Okay, how you how you uh uh put it grammatically? Hey, it works. <laughs> and I know better. I just <laughs> I just call you Mrs. Jones. 
and then I messed up when you came in here and tried to say I just certain words I get certain words I get tongued out on like amicable. I see. Look, let me shut up because I'm trying to. <laughs> you are Mrs. Jones. Oh man. All right, salute to you. Been a little bit, been a little bit, small time, but been a little bit. How you doing? Hopefully you good. Hopefully you good. True as a businessman, and you know it. So 1K payment and the rest do a pickup, correct? Yes. I prefer this, right? Some people do it this way, right? They'll um say, well, you can do their deposit you know, the, the, the deposit. Now the deposit comes off of the total price. It's not like, okay, you got to give me a thousand dollars plus the price of the dollar. No, the thousand dollars is a deposit, which is taken away from the total price, depending on which pup you pick. My pups are 5,500 to 6,500, depending on which big you choose. All right. Which I'm going to do a video. Please don't ask me right now. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a video on this channel. And I'm going to break down my pick status. But I'm not going to do. No, I'm actually going to try to do it very soon. I might even do it a little bit later. I might even do it a little bit later. Um, I'll tell you this. As of right now. She has six males and, and three females. One female is already spoken for is is staying in the camp. It's staying in the camp. There's two females available. Both those females are 6,500. There's no question about it. Both those females are 6,500. So second and third pick female is 6,500. If somebody wants my keeper, it's 15,000. It's 15 bands. All the dogs are beautiful. What I pick might not even be the best dog out the litter. I, I'm picking what I like, what I want, what I want to add to my yard. And I'm adding some hella fire chocolate Merle in my yard. I'm keeping a chocolate trimural female. And it's only two. So it's going to be one of those two females. I have two chocolate trimural females. I have one black trimural female. I'm keeping one of the chocolates. It's probably the lighter, right? Chocolate trimural. So there's two trimural females left. A chocolate tri. Matter of fact, let me do this. Let me do this. What's going on? Let me do this. Let me do this real quick. Now, as far as the black tries, I can't tell y'all because they, they, they colors are so crazy and unique in itself that... You know, I almost can I can tell them apart when I go through them, but going through the pictures, I can't. You know, it's like, okay, I got to think. What did I label? Excuse me. What did I label the markings to distinguish this one from the other one? So, yeah, I got to excuse me um, on the um, on the labeling of the black trust. Now, these are the two. These are both two females. They are uh, chocolate trimural females. This at this point is my keeper right here. The one closest to the three fake candles. The other one is actually the biggest. I'm I'm going for something. This is what my wife and I, we like them both, but both, as soon as they came out, my wife and I both said this. All right. So this is my keeper right now. It may change to this keeper. It will be one of these two no matter what. So first pick female is gone because I get first pick female. Second pick female, which would be one of these two, and second pick female, which would be a black tribe Merle, and I have to figure out which one is which, which would be a black black tribe Merle female that look like this. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, matter of fact, let me go here and look. I think that's the female right there with the white around it. Yeah, 
female right there. The female is the one with the white on their neck, around her neck, like a necklace. So the two chocolate tribe merles are the females, and this is the other female. I'll get some updated better pictures. You understand? They through here. Um, but the one with all the white around the neck, that's the female. None of the other ones have all that white around the neck. That's the female right there. That's the female black tribe merle. All right. 15 bands. Lexington, 15 bands. She's really, she's not for sale. But 15 bands, you can get her. I got a vision. Even though my vision, I could go with either of the chocolate females. But my wife and I laid our eyes on the lighter chocolate trimural female. That's 15 bands if you want her. That's 15 bands or 10 bands co-ownership. Which I don't even want to do that. But, okay. So those are the females right there. Uh, that's a female. Oh, she's beautiful too. I just, I got a black tri male. I can always get another black tri. I got a black tri Merle male, which is they dad, which is, this is the pops. Where are you at? Oh, uh, no, he's not in that folder. Hold on. <sighs> pops is right here. Pops is right here. I got the black tri to reproduce and reproduce and reproduce. I'm not worried about that. What I don't have is the chocolate. There's Black Try. His name of is, is King of Wands. His nickname is Bentley. Okay? Bent Dog. All right? All right? He's a duplicate of his daddy. There's his pops right there. There's his pops. There's his mom. All right. Okay. So I can reproduce the black truck. I can reproduce the chocolate try too, but I got a black tri Merle in house. I want a chocolate tri Merle in house. I'm about to do some real nasty. I'm about to do some real nasty with these, with these dogs. King of Wands is Bentley. I didn't know. Well, King of Wands is his registered name. Now, here's the reason for that, right? I met up with a person to buy Bentley. Let me tell you the story about how I got Bentley. This is crazy. I met up with a person to buy Bentley. They gave me a price. And, of course, I accepted the price. But here was the kicker. They told me they weren't ready to sell him. They just thinking about it right now. So they had already registered him and gave him a name. Okay. They had already registered him and gave him a name. I met up with them. I went to actually look at uh, another litter they had. Um, I didn't like the litter because the parents just wasn't, you know, now, Bentley, they bought from somebody. Well, King of Wands, they bought from somebody else, I believe. No, they did because that person actually even contacted me and said, I think that's a dog I produce. Can you keep me updated on him? And blah, blah. I said, oh, yeah, sure. Bam. Is his name this? Is it, did he come from this camp? Is his daddy and mama named it? I said, yes. He said, I produced that dog. So the person that he sold the dog to sold the dog to somebody else as a pup. And then I end up buying it for them. I don't know why they didn't want to roll with him. I don't know. That boy is nasty. That boy is nasty. And you see his, this is his first litter. And you see what he produced. He produced six tri merles out of a nine piece. He produced six males out of a nine piece. His DNA nasty. His genes is nasty. They produce what you see. I'm 100% positive of that. All right? All right? Now, now, how I came across 
King of Wands, a.k.a. Bentley, is this. A camp bred Bentley. Southern Trines. All right. Southern Trines sold the pup to somebody else here locally. The person that they sold him to, he sold them, sold King of Wands, a.k.a. Bentley, to locally. <clears throat> locally for me. Um, I don't believe Southern Trines is here. I'm not quite sure. Um, but they end up having a whole nother litter with other dogs that they had. So I went to look at the other litter. I looking at the other litter. I actually went to actually buy one, but I wasn't, it just didn't, it just, it just didn't quite curl like Luther's. So I was like, let me think about it. Let me talk to my wife. I'll get back at which I already knew I wasn't buying that one of them dogs. Next thing you know, as I'm walking out the door, they said, I got a, I got a, I got a Merle too. I said, what? Male or female? They said male. I said, man, I'm looking for a female, but where are you at? It was like he in the back room. I said, let me see. They said, you want to sing? I said, yeah, they brought him out, man. I was, I was at all. You feel me? He was about about 13 weeks or something at that point, something like that, 13, 14, maybe 15 weeks, some shit like that. And I was like, you going to sell them? Then she was like, you know, her dude, her dude let her handle the business. He stayed in the room. I, I don't understand that. But anyway, he was like, uh, she was like, um, I'm thinking about it, but we haven't decided. And I'm like, okay, you sure you don't want to sell him right now? I'll buy him right now. And she was like, well, let me let me think about it a little bit, whatever, 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 right? And I'm like, okay. I said, but please, if you decide you're going to sell this dog, you got my number, you got my information, please call me. She said, okay, right? So I'll go home, right? Three, four days, I say less than a week later. I'm meddling around online because she ain't got back with me, and I'm actually in the market for a Merle. And I see King of Wands, a.k.a. Bentley, up for sale. And I'm like, hold up. I just left this woman's crib. I told her, if you decide you're going to sell him, hit me up. So then I message her, and I'm like, I message her and text her because I had her number. And I'm like, you selling him? Then I, I told you, if you're going to sell him, let me know. She was like, yeah, I, I didn't even think. I forgot and blah, blah, blah. You know, the long, drawn out, lame stories, right? I said, okay, cool. I said, what's the ticket on him now? I mean, I see you got him up for that because she upped the price a little bit, right? So I said, here's what I'll do. I'll give you this right now. She was like, well, hold up. I, um, Blue Jazz, we're not mentioning no names that's affiliated with clowns. Okay, please, sis, don't do that. Please, please do not do that. First of all, they don't have a kennel. Please remove that and please don't do that because it, it, it can get ugly around here. This is not the channel. I'm, I'm not doing that here. All right. That was very disappointing. This, this channel has nothing to do with none of those people. Thank you. Appreciate it. No. What? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up for a second. Something ain't right. No. No, 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 no. Hold up. Hold up for a second. Hold up for a second. I think I may. Hold up. Okay, all right, you you good, Blue Jazz? I you you good? I I don't know. I I'm totally lost. I didn't. You good? Salute, Jersey. Salute, Jersey. Salute, Jersey. Appreciate you, famo. All right, salute. I I'm tripping. I just I seen the name and kind of flipped a little bit, but it's good. You know what I mean? You can't call yourself a kennel when you don't own not one dog. I'll say that. But anyway. 
So to get back to the story of how I acquired Bentley, I swear it was fate that I got Bentley because I swear I did everything except almost cry. I didn't know. I did everything except all. I almost done everything except cry. Because I had actually went to look at other dogs, another tri litter, no Merle in it or nothing. It was just a, a tri litter. By the pictures, they looked like, you know what I mean? They could potentially, I'm like, okay, they kind of young. They only a couple weeks old, whatever. I went and looked at the pups and I seen the mom. It was like, there was no way. And then I was like, you got the dad on site? They opened the blinds and I looked out at the dad and it was just like, I didn't want to, you know, hurt their feelings. But I said, let me think about it. Let me talk to my wife. There was no way I was buying one of the dolls from their breeding. Bentley was bred by a whole nother kennel that they bought from that kennel, but then for whatever reason didn't want to keep it. I, I don't know. Maybe needed the money. I don't I don't know what the situation was. So I turns around and um she didn't contact me. It, once she decided to sell Bentley which his name wasn't Bentley at that point. It was King of Wands. So I'm meddling online again. I'm like, okay, she, I keep messenger. I'm like, have you decided yet? You know, have you figured it out yet? Cause I was on it. You know what I mean? I even had offered her $500 more. And she was like, well, I ain't, I ain't made up my mind yet. And all this and all that. And Blase Scoop, whatever. Right. So then I'm meddling around online within the week of actually going look at the other pubs that I was totally 100% not interested in. Um, I see King of Wands, who is now Bentley, nickname, um, posted up for sale. So I messaged her and called her because we exchanged numbers. And I'm like, I told you I want to buy him. So why you didn't message me? Why you put him back online? I told you I'd give, him what you, give you what you want plus five. Well, I said the plus five if she would have sold it to me right then. But I would still gave her the plus five, which is 500. So her price plus 500. Sell him to me right now. See, if you contemplate me, you're going to sell him. That's what I was thinking. So let me go ahead and give you that. She was like, well, let me think about it. Let me this and that. And what she did was turn around and then put the dog uh, Bentley online for sale. So she didn't contact me. She didn't message me. So I turns around and uh, I'm meddling online. I'm looking for a whole nother Merle. I'm like, the hell with it. Now, this is at the time that I got scammed on a Merle. I, I, I should have knew better anyway, but, you know, I think it was like five. What was it? Five hundred. OK, whatever. I'll never do it again. I'll, I'll never do it again. Right. I'd rather fly if I can't, you know, fly. Out, I'll get, you know, I already talked about that on other platforms, but it is what it is. I, you know, I got scammed out of 500. It's cool. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people running scams on these dogs. That's why I got another live stream or presentation coming up. And I want people to do a specific thing. And I'm going to show them how to protect the uh, one one way to help protect a brand out of the multiple ways that we have to protect our brand and the pups. But I'll get to that <sighs> in another um what's the name? Another live or video presentation. So I look online and I'm looking for a whole nother Merle because she ain't contacted me and I'm in the market right now to get one. So then I see she put him up. So I contact her and I'm like, you know, what's good? I told you, message me and you know what I mean, this and that. She said, well, right now I'm at work. She was like, well, I'll hit you when you get off, when I get off. I said, all right, I'm ready to come purchase it. She said, all right, cool. You know, I you know, I message you when I get off work. You know what I mean? And then you can come back through. I had their address. I went to their home. They didn't live that far from me the whole night. So the time where she gets is to get off work, I'm messaging her saying, any updates? What, what time you want me to pull up? She was like, hold up. I got somebody else, you know, offering me more for him and this and that. And she just went up stupid on the price to me. I don't know why. I, I have no idea why. But whatever. So I'm like, well, we already agreed on this. Plus, 
I was willing to give you 500 more. You went up another two bands. And I'm like, come on now. I said, I got this right now. I come pick him up right now. And she was like, hold up, because I got somebody that's supposed to be picking him up this evening. I'm like, come on now. We had an agreement. Oh, we had an understanding. We did not have agreement. I take that back. That's wrong, wrong verbiage. We had a, 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 a understanding. We didn't have an agreement, which an agreement uh, is different than an understanding. The understanding is not nothing but, okay, you either man or woman of your word or you're not. Okay? So I turned around. And I keep messing the messenger. All of a sudden, she stops responding back. Two, three days go by. I'm like, you still got the pup? I said, I want to come pick him up. She says, sorry, somebody just came picked him up. Man, my heart dropped. My heart dropped like a mofo. But then, got myself together. I was like, the hell with it, man. And I was like, it is what it is. It must not have been meant to be. I said it must not have meant to be. All right. Um, so then I want to say two. Oh, uh, uh, hold on for a second. Let me grab Bentley paperwork when we registered him because I registered him immediately. I want to say he was. Um, Well, I bought him a little bit before this because they didn't have the paperwork in yet because they had to transfer the paperwork from the previous owner's name that sold them up under me to them. And they were waiting on their paperwork. And my wife and I registered Bentley on... Where's the tape? Uh, let's see, let's see. January 22nd of 2022. What? January 22nd. How long how was Bentley when I got it? Uh, well, that's when we registered it, but I had him like, it took them like two and a half, three months to get me the paperwork. I'll never do that again either, but I did get this paperwork. I won't buy a dog if you ain't got paperwork on that. I'm not buying a dog, period. Bentley was about four months when I purchased him. Three, three and a half, four months when we actually purchased him. We didn't get the paperwork until he was like six, seven months. I will never do that again. All right? Never. Even though it worked out, I'll never do it again. If you don't have the paperwork on the pups, you shouldn't be selling. If you don't have the paperwork on the pus by the time the new owners are to, you know, to, uh, there to go to their new home, you should not be selling these pups. You should get them people their money back. All right. Um, and I'm going to get into some things um, about the paperwork on these pups. Um, we'll do that in a whole nother video or live stream. So, anyway, backing up a little bit. So, I already know she didn't sold this pup, right? I already know she didn't sold this pup. So, now I'm waiting. I'm, I'm looking online for another Merle, right? At this time, I believe is when I end up getting scammed out of five cents and a five hundred dollar deposit. Okay, cool. That was totally my mistake. That could have been fully avoided. That's the first time I got scammed on a pup, and that's the last time I I will ever be scammed on a pup. Okay? So, cool. Whatever. So, I'm like, all right, let me chalk it up as a loss. So, I did. So, then I turned around, and over the next, you know, couple couple weeks or so, I'm online looking, and I'm trying to find a murder that's ready that I can come pick up and pay for right now. I'm not sending nobody no deposit. It was a bunch of people wanted me to send them a deposit. Some people may say, true, this is not a good story to tell because this is going to shy people away from sending you a deposit because you may scam them. Well, if they think I'm going to scam them, go somewhere else because I don't do business like that. Okay? Now, anyway, moving right along. So, I'm looking online. And guess who I see? 
I saw Bentley. Well, who is now known as Bentley. And I'm like, babe, this is that dog I was trying to get. Now, this dog was still in the state of Indiana, but this dog was not in Indianapolis. It was like almost three hours away. But I said, babe, I know that's him. And then I compared the pictures that were sent to me before, you know, well, after I went and met with her about other dogs. And then I told her, send me some pictures of, the, of him so I can show her my wife. And then I took a couple pictures of him while I was there, but she wasn't sure she was going to sell him at that point. So I started comparing the pictures. And I was like, this is that dog. This is the dog that I was trying to get, babe. And she was like, you sure? I said, yeah, look. And then we went through the pictures and we went through the pictures of the person that was selling them again. And, and, and she was like, yeah, that's him. So what I end up doing is I messaged the lady and I said, did you buy that dog from Indianapolis, Indiana, out of Indianapolis, Indiana, from a female, uh, a black female? And she said, yes. I said, were they in the range of this area? And she said, yes. I said, see, I told you, babe, that's a dog. And then I worked out a deal with that woman and shot up her and picked Bentley up. Matter of fact, at that time, she was trying to sell me a, 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 a black tri female that had one litter. Only had one litter under her belt. And I just told her, let me think about it. And I ended up not buying a dog. I ended up taking too long. And about two weeks later, I decided I wanted that female. She was beautiful. Um. And next thing you know, I slept on it and somebody else bought that adult female uh, that only had one litter. She had just us two years old. And it's just, you know, whatever. But I got Bentley. That's how I got Bentley. That's exactly how I ended up with Bentley. It was like I had an opportunity to get him. The lady wasn't ready. Allegedly, next thing you know, she put it online and then she tried to make me be... More to the story. Well, what the truth is is she tried to make me bid against somebody else on the pup, and I just wasn't happy with it because I told you, if you're going to sell this pup, contact me. I don't live far from you. I come pick this pup up and cash you out. She chose to put the pup online, sell it to somebody else, and I actually got the dog for less than what I was going to give her. I was giving her 6500 I ended up giving the lady that she sold the dog to $5,000. That's how much I paid for Ben. 5K. I got him 1500 cheaper because she was trying to run a game. So I don't even think she sold him for five bands. I don't know. She couldn't have because how would you pass up my 65? That woman didn't give you more than 65. I know that because the woman sold me him for 5K. And he, he does his thizzle. Okay. Why is there they not letting me? Let me refresh my board because I don't get why they're not letting me block this troll. All right, this is crazy, man. I just wish people would just go away, man. It's like it, it's just the weirdest stuff, man. What is going? Are you in here, uh, Blue Jazz? Can you get that Kanyan out of here, please? But some odd reason it refused to allow me to block this person. Can you, if that person is not going to be out of here, then I'm going to shut my chat down and continue with whatever I'm rapping about. You feel what I'm saying? This is crazy. All right, Blue Jazz, appreciate you, sis. Can you see if you can block uh, Kanye before you leave, please? If not, I'm going to shut the chat down. Yeah, it says the same thing for me, too. That's Google in-house. That's Google in-house allowing it. Me either. I can't block them either, uh, Blue Jazz. Um, so, you know. Yep, error again. So I apologize to everybody. Give me a second. I'm going to go shut my chat down. This is this is just crazy. This is Google, man. They don't want me to prosper on this. It's, it's crazy. This is employees with inside of Google. Research shows that nostalgia can help you. But it's okay, though. Watch this. I'm going to take, of it, take care of it real quick. All right. YouTube Studio. 
and apologies to the people that have to deal with this because y'all you being respectful to my platform but you know these in-house google employees working for the opposition i can't deal with it i'm gonna tell you right now content live edit let's scroll down uh show more uh i didn't put no tags cool i probably had a lot more people here but it's okay customization uh anyone under the roof slow mo no we're not gonna do slow slow mode uh <sighs> what hold up for a second y'all live subscribers no no okay there we go so refresh your board live chat is now removed so actually with that being said i'm i'm going to um Get ready to get up off here, man. No, nah, we all tried, bro. We all tried to keep saying error. We all tried. I refreshed my board to see if he was gone or deleted the account. That ain't what it is. It just won't allow us to block it. All right? It won't allow us to block him, so, you know. They allowed me to block somebody else, though, even though I shut down the chat. Let me refresh the board. Yes, sir, air for me. Thank you, Blue Jazz. I'm going to get up off here anyway. All right. Salute to the people who came through. Um, You know, just, just, just hit me up, man. With that being said, man, we all we got candles, man. We up out of here, man. You see something you like. You ready to drop some bread uh, as far as a deposit. Um, We can go from there. Um, W-A-W-G channels at gmail.com. If you're not willing to FaceTime and a whole bunch of other things, I'm going to do a video. Do not contact me if you're willing to, if you go going to hide yourself. Do not contact me. All right, please. There's a hundred trillion breeders out here you can get a dog from. With all this trolling and this hate and this jealousy and envy going on, do not contact me about no pup if you're not willing to FaceTime. Because if you want some BS, I'm going to expose you. If you're trying to destroy my camp, I'm going to expose you. So do not play with me. All right, that's that's for you roaches. And I'm not going to hold everybody else responsible for y'all bull crap. But I'm going to make sure if they ain't on the up and up, don't contact me. With that being said, let's turn off our uh, screen share. You feel me? And salute to everybody who came through. Salute to the real. You know what I got to say about the rest. So with that being said, I'm out, deuces. Catch y'all on the next one. We're probably going to try to get a couple uploads in today on this channel. Maybe one more live stream. Who knows? You feel me? Salute to the couple people who hit the cash app. I appreciate that support the platform. Anybody interested in purchasing a puff for me? Matter of fact, matter of fact. If you're interested in person apart from me, it's WAWG Candles on Instagram. It's WAWG. We all we got acronym WAWG Candles on Instagram. My page is open. Anybody can sub to me. If you want to purchase a puff from me, you're going to have to uh, message me through there. And at the point, um, of agreement of the terms and conditions you're gonna have to facetime me i'm not going to be sitting up here back and forth with people spending a whole bunch of time trying to figure out if y'all real or fake or wasting my time time is money money is time with that being said salute to the real and you know what to do with the rest wawg candles is out because we the best right uh, let me shut up I almost threw out another Never mind. It's good. Holla at y'all in